So when we talk about our topic for today is linear equations. And when we talk about linear, as we said earlier on, it has what? An exponent of what? 1. So when we talk about a linear equation, it can be 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. So we have the equal to 0 showing that it is what? An equation. So 2x is equal to negative 7. x is equal to negative 7 over 2. Where our x is equal to negative 3 whole number, 1 over 2. So this is a linear equation which has been solved. So we can also have a fraction. Let's say 1 over 5 plus x over 2 is equal to 7. And then we are asked to solve for x. So over here, because this is a constant, we can take it to the right. So we have x over 2 is equal to 7. This goes to the right minus 1 over 5. So x over 2 is equal to 7 minus 1 over 5. Our LCM is 5. 5, 7, 35 minus 1. We have um, 34. So this will give us 34 over 5. So solving for x, we multiply here by 2 and here by 2. So therefore, our x becomes um, 34 times 2. We have 2, 4, 8, 2, 3, 6. So 68 over 5. This is our answer, which becomes x is equal to. So normally, don't leave your answer as an improper fraction. That is not right. Okay? So 5, 11, 55, 5, 12, 60. So 5, 13 is 65. So 13 whole number. 3 over 5. So this is our solution. So when you are giving fractions, okay, another fraction can come in this form. We have 1 over 2 into x minus 3 equals to 7 over 5. So in this case, you can look out for the LCM, which is 10. Multiply here by 10 and here by 10 to get rid of the fraction. So 2 will go here, 1, 2 will go here, 5. So you shall have 5 into x minus 3 equals to 5 will go here, 1, 5 will go here, 2. We have 14. So you expand 5x, then minus 15 is equal to 14. Okay? So going this way, we have 5x is equal to 14 plus 15. 5x is equal to 19. x is equal to 19 over 5. So therefore, our x becomes 5, 3, 15. So 3 whole number, 4 over 5. So we have different, different forms, okay? So let's solve an example, and then we move on. 